As I awoke, my mouth dry with thirst. That hot desert air blew through the openings of the tent. It was one of those old-fashioned military tents with steel rods holding up either end. Nylon strings were tied to the holes at the bottom, which were pinned down to the ground. As I emerged from the tent, the landscape was unwelcoming with foreboding. The surrounding area had little vegetation. There were only a few saguaros, but most of them were so dried out that only their skeletons remained. There were some creosote bushes, but most were dead as well. Due to the lack of water, all life suffered. Running water was a thing of the past. It was nearly impossible to find water clean enough to drink. As a result, many survivors became ill due to the radiation. Even the wildlife took a turn. Some sort of mutation allowed these things to grow abnormally large. Ants. Scorpions. Even mole rats. And the dreaded Cazador. I guess it's time to get moving. Better go wake Sahara before the day grows hotter. As I peered into the tent, my worst fear, she was gone. It wasn't like her to wander off without telling me. I searched around in a panic. No sign, no clues. All of our gear was still here. As I got to higher ground to survey the land, it was as empty as we left it the night before. Before my feelings of guilt and anger set in, I'd have to pack up and leave. To look for her. Checking my supplies, I find I'm low on food and water. No surprise. I could kill two birds while I'm out. I can hunt and search for Sahara. Better get a move on. Thirty years have passed since the end of the war. Somehow I've managed to survive. The shock of such sudden changes was guaranteed to make me question my sanity. Everyone and everything I had known was taken from me in the blink of an eye. I was forced to reinvent myself. The identity of my former life no longer fit. After losing all of my family and friends, it was difficult to have the hope needed to survive. I felt like Job, cursing at God for his iniquity. Why was I meant to suffer? But unlike Job, my faith never returned. In the wager between God and Satan, neither had won. Instead, the wager had ended in a stalemate. Darkness had engulfed the land. The sun disappeared, not to reappear for almost six months. Crops could no longer be grown, and livestock couldn't be sustained. In the northern hemisphere, temperatures plummeted. In order to survive, I had to adapt to sudden changes in the environment. And this was true to even this day. There was always something around the next corner.